on this example, I want to chain two lists together. So I do the following. From Editor Tools, Import, Star. Let me move this out of the way. And now, for I in chain, and open params, and I'll key in uh, 5, 6, 7. And uh, then a comma, and I'm going to key in E, F, G, and close my list, square brackets, and the squares, and then friends, and oh. I saw what a mistake here. Fix that. And make that a little bit wider. Like so. So for Ryan Chain, open friends, close friends, and then 567 E O G is A B C D E. That's the fifth character, sixth and seventh character. And that should do it. And now I'll put a colon. And then I'll print uh, I uh, let's see what happens. Five six seven and E F G. So I chain these two guys together. Um, but I'd rather not do that. I'd rather map these guys. To these guys here. How would I do that? And I want to map it so it says one, which says one, whoops, one A, two B, three C, four, four D, and finally. 5e. That's what I wanted to do. Hmm. How can I do that? Well, there's a function built into the, uh, into edit tools called zip longest. So, let's use that one. It's going to return an iterable. You'll see what that means in a second. So, z equals zip under longest. And I'm going to make a range of numbers from 1 to 1 more than I need. That's uh, 6. And a comma. Then a single quote. I'm going to use the letters A, B, C, D, and E. Like so. Let me hit enter. Oh, that would be nice if I spelled this correctly. Rather than ETS, it'd be nice if I keyed it in as E S T. That always helps. There we go. Now I can see. Let's see, I've got myself an iterable. Well, what does that mean? The only way you're going to see it is through an iteration in a for loop. So for X in Z, this is what I want you to know. Print out whatever is an X. Oh, there they go, the parade ends. 1, A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, D, 5, E. Wow. This is George Ball. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you could rate this, I'd appreciate that. And good luck.